Okay, welcome to the first video for 7RP1. That means ratios and proportions. And we are looking at the first goal, which is based on unit rates. So we can find a lot of this information in section 6.2 in our book, and now we will begin the lesson. So the first part of unit rate is we need to actually figure out what that means. Unit rate is, quite, is actually, by definition, a ratio that is simplified to um, the point where the denominator is equal to 1. So essentially, we are looking for miles per gallon or um, cost per pound or something like that equals 1. So looking at this, we have somebody, let's look at this example. We have somebody who can type 160 characters on a keyboard in 40 seconds. So the unit rate for this, in order to get 40 into, to turn it into 1, we'd have to divide 40 by 40. And it, whatever we do to the bottom of this fraction or this ratio, we have to do to the top. Otherwise, we're not keeping the ratio in proportion. And that's very, very important. So um, we have, let's do the easy math on the bottom. 40 divided by 40 is 1 second. And 160 divided by 40 is 4 characters. So this person... Characters. This person can type four characters in one second. Pretty quick peanut. That's pretty awesome. So now let's go on to this. We have a few practice questions. We need to express this as a unit rate. What if we had 11 boxes of cereal, or four boxes of cereal that cost us $11? What is that as a unit rate? So we essentially need to make it so we have simply one box of cereal. So the only way we can turn four into one is if we divide by four. And whatever we do to the bottom, we need to do the top. So we're gonna divide by four. 11 divided by four is $2.75. So one box of cereal costs $2.75. Simple enough, let's try another problem. This one's a little more in depth. An online music store sells 15 songs for $12, and another one sells 10 songs for $9. Which store has the lowest cost per song? So I want you to do a little bit of comparison here. We have, a, let's do sort of our cube method. Um, we have 15 songs for $12, so $15, 15 songs for, well, let's actually do this. We need to know cost per song, so we need to have the $12 on top versus 15 songs. And we need to compare that to another store or another online company that sells songs for $9 per 10 songs. So let's do the math. $12 for 15 songs ends up being about... 0 0.8 dollars for one song. How did I get there? Well, I divide by 15 on the top and the bottom because we want to make that 15 turn into a 1. Alright, let's do this other one. We have $9 for 10 songs. $9 for 10 songs. How are we going to turn 10 into simply one song? Well, we need to divide 10 by 10. We're going to do the same thing over here, divide 10, 9 by 10, and we get 0 0.90, 90 cents per song. So which one has the better situation? Well, the first online music store has a cheaper cost per song, the first online music store. All right, so let's continue on and try another type of problem. We need to use this information to find out how many breaths a dolphin will take in seven hours. And if we know the information of the dolphin takes 34 breaths in four hours, we need to first find the unit rate. So let's figure out how much a dolphin breathes in 
one hour instead of four. So that equals one hour. How are we going to turn four into one? Well, we divide by four. So we're going to divide 34 by four. 34 divided by four ends up being approximately 8.5 breaths. And I know you're thinking, how do you take half a breath? Well, it's probably a little bit easier for us to think about this in two hours. In two hours, the dolphin will take 17 breaths. But if we look at it in one hour, we can imagine just 8.5 of something. Think of it as being something different than a breath. You don't take half a breath. You're taking maybe half of a quarter or half of a dollar or something like that. But we have 8.5 breaths in one hour. Now that 8.5 breaths in one hour, we need to use that information. Breaths per one hour. We need to use this information to figure out how much it takes for a dolphin to breathe in seven hours. And if you notice, I just multiplied by seven. Essentially, if I have a unit rate, if I know how much it is, how much something does something in one hour, so a dolphin breathes 8.5 times per one hour, if I just multiply by seven, I can find out exactly how much it'll breathe in seven hours. And in seven hours, 8.5 times seven is approximately 59.5 breaths. So in the time you are at school, a dolphin has only breathed, well, has breathed approximately less than 60 times. I dare you to hold your breath that long. So that concludes the end of this little lesson. Let's zoom back up to the top. Hopefully you know how to calculate the unit rate. Now start working on that goal one information and ask questions if you have any, please.